How's it going everybody? This is going to be another Dark Dimension 7 video. We're going to be wrapping up the global section here and heading on to the cosmic section. I think you're going to be interested to see what happens here with the team I brought in and just how difficult cosmic really is. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. We're going to be joined by Scotty in this video. We did a live after recording a bunch of videos. I thought his insight on you know how we built up our characters was really, really impactful and you might enjoy hearing that. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, here we are on hopefully the last day of the global section. Yesterday was kind of just a burn day where we really had to get some cooldowns up, not kill anybody because we didn't want the next pre taunts and Morgan the Phase to drop in. We didn't use our Nightcrawler special or anything like that. We wanted to set it up, so hopefully we'll be done this on the 50th global. Scotty, you're joined with me today because we just did a slew of videos together. How did you think about our global adventures? Because we were kind of prepped for the worst here, right? I mean, I hadn't heard of a lot of people that did full Cabal um, with Nightcrawler. Like, it was like Cabal with Quicksilver. Like, it just, like, there was a lot of variations. Right. And I had heard Extreme was, like, f like four Extreme with BK or even five Extreme um, would be ideal. But, like, the Mutant Origin was not happening. Right. Um but like somehow I got bio minis before I got mutant origin gear, which was crazy. Um, I, I it seems like it's gone very well. Like I heard people doing twenty hits on nodes, thirty, forty. So I think we've we've done well, and it was a good team to bring up in my opinion, especially with the trial coming. Yeah, so like when when all is said and done, we're gonna have a really really good team. And oh, I don't have this, and I can't stun. Well, we're gonna do the speed bar anyway because she's gonna rewind a bunch of people. But, uh, yeah, this, this team has done fantastic. Now, we do have a giant Cabal team, right? Like, we're not we're not trying to say, like, a small Cabal is going to have the same results here. We have two diamonds on all our Cabal members. Obviously, they're all Crimson Gear because it's Dark Dimension 7. Uh, Black Knight, I believe, is also at two diamonds. So, it's a giant team. But I've still been very impressed with how it's done. Yeah. Hmm. I think we're going to clear house here. If we land the stun, I think it's over. Because uh, Namor's about to pop off with his ult. Make sure we get some kills here. And yeah, that's going to be it for Global, guys. So, one and done. I'm really glad I set it up yesterday. I think if I didn't say... Here's the thing about the Cabal team in the Global section. If you don't kill, like, the primary headache targets for the Cabal team and, and the Black Knight, like your your Void Knights, your Weavers, your Morgan the Fae's, if they are already on the node when you drop in and they have that, like really enhanced speed i think you could find yourself in a lot of trouble so i do think we played this really well um as far as star levels go for cabal i think you would probably want around six red six yellow you wouldn't get the same results i have here but you can get similar results where you're probably instead of doing you know 20 hits on this node maybe 10 maybe 12 um as long as you're killing those primary targets and you're making sure you're going with at least like some cooldowns from node to node, whether it be Nightcrawler Ultimate, Special, Turbo Rewind from Name, or whatever the case may be. As long as you got something up, you're going to be okay. But that's it for the global section. So I guess we're going to do our first hit of Cosmic at the same time here. Um, and as far as Cosmic goes, this is our team. So we have Photon, because we got some bio gear from the Temporal Dimension, as well as uh, Vol, Kang, and the Eternals. I did not want to bring both Eternals. I didn't, but... In all honesty, as far as, like, um, cosmic characters go, Void Knight comes to mind. The only Bio. reason not to do Void Knight is because he's, like, one more expensive than Photon, right? And it's just, like, Void Knight is an amazing character. But does the gear really elevate him in other modes? Because he gets that 5,000% focus. It's already unavoidable. There's definitely an argument for it. I think a lot of people bring Void Knight instead of Photon because Photon's fallen off as the plug-and-play character in a lot of senses. But if you are racing, or at least rushing to get it, like, there's not really... Cosmic used to be such a stacked, stacked tag, right? It doesn't feel as stacked as it used to feel. Especially with the, the absence of the mythical characters, like the Dorm and the Kestrel, right? The yeah, not now. having Kestrel made me sad. Yeah. Anyway, like, we got Kang then, here. And we wouldn't have probably done any bio. We probably would have just done Kestrel instead of Photon. Yeah, agreed. The Eternals, at least, uh, they still have a lot of 
a lot of great use in other modes here. I'm worried about what this Black Knight's going to do, but he seems to be just eating all the damage. All right, we're stuck here on these Puritans, so I guess we can just do this here. And now we'll see what happens here. I am a little concerned because Vol goes third, so it's not as many people hitting into her um, exposed early, right? Okay, well, there's a double tap, so that's good. That's Quicksilver gone. There's a Juggernaut gone. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> oof. This is actually kind of crazy damage. As long as Vol doesn't die, we might be able to one-shot these nodes. There's a Ghost Rider over there to be concerned with, so we'll keep an eye on that. I do want to hit into this Expose before we do anything else. Let's get a Vulnerable up on this Ghost Rider. Ooh, that's two kills. Was she got a dodge? Okay. Ooh, this is kind of... Oh, my God. Are we going to beat Cosmic tonight? There's no shot. It's all this easy, right? There's no shot. We'll start saving some. I heard, I heard Cosmic was not bad and that to even cheap out on it, but, like... I don't know. I just had a bunch of Mystic. Yeah, the Eternals go kind of nuts. And, and we actually have Dark Dimension tagged characters here. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the Val's extra fun... Yeah, Vol's extra fun, and the Eternals have Dark Dimension Collets too, don't they? Yeah. I mean, their tags aren't... Well, they're impactful, but... Do they, do they get energy? More energy? Uh, I think so. So you got them just popping off more and more ult seems kind of crazy. And I think we have Kang Ultimate coming. We're going to stun a big time here for sure, and then we'll target the different big time. <gasps> the expose assist from... Oh my god, that's actually crazy! <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of crazy to think about it. Wait, did I just get... Hold on. Did I just get dodged by a character that was stunned? Am I upset or am I laughing at that? I don't know. We're going to use the special here. I just don't want the big time to pop off. I don't think we can one-shot the big time. Go ahead and throw the ult. So we're here in the second node is harder. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have cooldowns going into the second node then. For sure. I don't want to ult, but I do want to kill that invisible woman. Oh, I want a good big time. Uh, sorry, not big time Spider-Man. I want a good Simo Spider-Man, which, I mean, I don't know why I said that. I, I think I saw the Gwenum, and for some reason my brain thought, hey, that's uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. Um, I, I want a good Symbiote Spider-Man. We have so many Spider-Mans in the game. But that costume is so iconic. You know what? I kind of wish that they just kept reworking Spider-Man to be relevant as a plug-and-play character and just gave him different skins and sold the skins. I think that would have been a much better uh, monetization route for them when it comes to the Spider-Man IP. Wait, these these Black Knights don't do the trauma? They don't do trauma heal block? Okay, so these Black Knights are a joke. Don't be worried about these nodes then. Oh, do it. do it. You think? Yeah, well, he's got some dodges. He'll survive the Ghost Riders. Because he's going to hit ooh, three times by both of them. He might be in trouble. Okay, he lived. He's fine, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was... It was too juicy to pass up, but it was also a really bad idea. Uh, let's get the blinds out here. That's good. And then we gotta go kind of cool down conservation mode here. That should kill the Black Knight, hopefully. Good. We got two dodges there, so he's safe. Ability block, sure. Get the expose, but we're gonna be killing that guy right away almost. That's not great. Let's do the special up here. This is the last five. We are one-shotting this node. So what do you think? So if people don't wanna bring Photon, because she's kind of out of the meta in a way, right? Instead, they want to bring the Void Knight. You think he would help make this even easier? Do you think he would be a detriment? What do you think about a Void Knight? If you're not going to bring, bring her, I wouldn't bring a Bio. Personally. No. Um, bio is just too much. Some people are doing Stitcher. Especially if you're going to do these four, I feel like Stitcher will give you a little bit of heals and otherwise just be there. He's cheap, tech. Yeah, kind of, kind of not wrong. Like, after seeing what it is that the Eternals bring. If you bring them, oh boy. Eternals plus Vol is kind of a crazy combo, right? Yep. I mean, can't... she does bring healing, which is great. Yeah. 
feel like you hopefully didn't F yourself. No, I, I think we're buffalo. fine. I'm trying to save some cooldowns. Even if we go in a little bit lower, Val could open up with her ultimate. I think we'd be pretty set. Yeah, leaving Lady District up was, was kind of a weird flex there, right? <laughs> For me, Photon was not an issue because I use her every war. Right. <laughs> and Makes sense. they still are a great team. So And like we're still putting her on defense and CC. Maybe not, I guess, depending on next season. But I feel like she's still on defense wrecking shit. She can be. And honestly, with 128 speed and unblockable blind, like there, a certain room could all of a sudden just elevate her crazy, right? Oh, this seems nice. So we got 34 people in the cosmic section. Wow, this is going to annihilate like the first wave, basically. Oh my god. Oh my god. So let's take the Doc Ock out now. Alright, buy Doc Ock. So the first wave just gone. Okay. Um, yeah, Black Bolt's gone too. And now we have a blind here. So we get to blind the Green Goblin Classic. His ultimate is not unavoidable, so that's huge for us. This might kill the Hulkbuster. Close enough. And I think Icarus is going to have his ult up now. Yep. <laughs> Double tap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do I care to do the rewind? I don't think I care to do the rewind yet. Yeah, I don't care to do the rewind. So let's get a vulnerable over here on this Black Bolt. Because they have so little turn bar, and she's got the speed up, so she's going to get it back quickly. I'm going to do the special. Oh. Again, I don't care to do the Vault Ultimate yet. Uh, let's kill the Rogue, since her special is unavoidable. Let's just get rid of her. Kang popping off. Hit into a Vulnerable. So he gets as much speed bar as possible. Is the Yellow Jacket dead? Sure is, Chief. We're already down 10 enemies on this node. We're not ready for Legendary, so there's literally no reason for me to even pretend that I want to one-shot this node. Except for fun. Except for fun and content, I guess. But, I mean, mm -hmm. even for content, it means <laughs> it means less videos that go out. I almost want to lose. This team's too good. No. Okay, okay, okay. I, I take it back. I take it back. Uh, you got the offense up. Let's stop you from popping off. All right, this is gonna kill the Green Goblin. I'm not, I'm not about to ult this. Not yet. <clears throat> See, you don't, you're not controlled. So let's go over here. Just don't hit my photon. I guess we could just bring her back too, though. Yeah. And Vol's really healthy with that defense up and the dodge. <laughs> yeah i mean i remember photon just being great in dd6 so i'm glad that she's still yeah she's kicking ass for sure yeah i mean the only argument was like i do i need a bigger one and then like i yes like i still am doing big punch-ups with p so well and the thing about war characters is war characters have such a long lifespan right so as well, soon as you depending who they are rest in peace dark hunters yeah dark hunters oh my god <laughs> They, they came resting Shadow in peace. Shadowlands, rest in peace. Yeah, they came resting in peace, dude. Ravagers. <laughs> uh, I guess we want to get a slow on that rogue. I think that vision's probably about to taunt, too. It's not about whaling. Um, it's just old man Logan is who we want to take. And I would rather wait. just wait a couple days to do him yeah. than take someone stupid. Did Black Bolt Burp kill Photon there? I think it did. I think so. That's very unfortunate. And the game crashed. Well then. <laughs> well then. Well then. Black well Bolt then. Well then. Your phone. Black Bolt burnt my phone. No. He's a cheater. Cheater. Pumpkin eater. Oh boy. All right, guys. He said one shot. Fuck you, dorky dad. Pretty much. Guys, if you're watching this video, just know that right now I'm posting another video that me and Scotty made today. We actually made three tonight. Uh, on the power war rankings. Just so you know, I go full villain mode on that one, and you're not going to want to miss it. It should be fun. It should be funny, unless you're one of the people's alliances I'm talking about. 
But if you're a good sport, then it'll still be fun and funny. You should definitely check it out. We're going to be doing it every two weeks. And we need video submissions to make it all the funner. All right, here we go. And uh, just watch, watch my face when he does it because I didn't expect it. <laughs> yeah, I went off script. I definitely went <laughs> off script hardcore. Uh, do we get the kill on him? We do. Nice. I was like, where he's, where is he going with this? Oh, full villain mode. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dorky. No, no, dorky. We're making so many villains. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't happen last time. Interesting. We kind of got wrecked there. I might need to vol alt to heal her. You know what? I think I will. Get a bunch of buffs this way. I mean, we already have a lot of the buffs, so it's just gonna kind of double up on what it is, but that's okay. I'll save the uh, the ultimate there. How did Rogue die to Icarus? Oh my god, Icarus is cracked out. Um, well, he's blind, so he's not gonna do anything. Let's get on top of these black bolts, I guess. One of these. Just yeah, Dark Hunters, they were a fun team when you could use them for your purpose, but then when... And even with the taunt, we found ways to still use them. Um, I think the hardest part for me was when they accidentally leaked that Morbius kit that fixed them. Because mm -hmm. it was like, apply blind to just all enemies and you didn't have to like chain, I think. And then they were like, oh, whoops, no. <laughs> we're um, not actually That's a mistake. That. We didn't mean, no, that's not happening. And like, we all hoped it was still gonna like be released and just never was. Cause I guess they just decided they'd rather just give us a new team. We actually, now, now that you bring that up, maybe that's gonna be part of the rework for that Karen Page team that we're all wondering who's gonna be on it. Maybe Morbius is a foregone conclusion. He's simply gonna be part of it. They're gonna finally sell us a permanent forever useful Heroes for Hire counter. Yay! <laughs> and everybody cheered. <laughs> we already have that. It's A-Force. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you know how to work Shang's charges, I guess. All right, so Val's ult is ready again. This is kind of clutch. All right, this is going to be big damage on my Photon, though. Man, it wasn't so bad. Let's, uh, let's go for a Wasp here. I don't have the same control effects that I would have liked to have that I had last time here. I'm going to try and flip her defense up. Good. That also gives her a vulnerable. Hit into the expose. I think Vol is going to be forced to hit Bishop here. Oh, oh, blind. Blinds, blinds, blinds. Perfect. That's good. Is Vol going before Rogue? She is. I'm just gonna ult. What do I special here? Special will still kill her. All right, we'll save the ult for the next one. This is the last uh, cosmic node, isn't it? Yeah, like I kind of don't like that there's only two nodes per trait. Yeah, it it's makes, a little. It kind of feels like the team you've like spent all this time like saving up for and building it doesn't get as much use, especially if you like yeah. one shot it like we're doing here. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess it's great they didn't, like, increase the nodes for this whole mythic thing. Well, I mean, if they just increase the nodes, it increases the at least first-time rewards, right? It would make it take longer if they made the nodes, like, really, really hard. But your first-time yeah. rewards would still be higher. You'd have to give it more of those mega gold orbs kind of thing. Here, can we actually land something on this ghost? Nice. Now, Eternals, do you have ults up? Oh, Yes. Bring it home, Daddy Icarus. Let's go, baby. Let's right, go for the bishop. He gone. All right. This is the last wave. This is actually all nine people, too. Val has her ultimate up. This is it. We literally one-shot everything. Uh, oh, the only yeah. time we didn't is when the game crashed. All right. Let's go ahead and cleanse all that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what is this? 
Just remember, like, you need to save your cooldowns for next time, because they'll start with the same cooldowns. What? Like, when you come back into Dark Dimension for the second round, the cooldowns don't reset it, I don't think. Yeah, they should. It should be I d I remember coming into it, and it wasn't reset on that, DD6. That'd be so wonky. That doesn't sound right at all. Uh, we'll, we'll, I swear, we'll I may sure. be wrong. I just have this like remembrance of. I feel like you probably like, use them. You probably use them on like the unrestricted node, and then it freaked you. No, out. it was when I came into unrestricted. My cooldowns were all weird from the people I had used. Huh. Interesting. I may be crazy. I may have dreamed it. I think so. I do think so. <laughs> but hey, twenty minute Maybe video, finished bio, finished cosmic, and now we're just waiting for old man Logan. So you might be seeing uh, a Mephisto on this account. Hopefully soon. We'll see. We haven't actually put the gear on anybody yet, but who are we thinking about taking, Scotty? I know I know Green Goblin, right? That's the only one that I'm like one billion trillion percent Green Goblin. Uh I think we'll have Nova. I like um, that. Cause you're gonna get the bio you got the bio for him from Cosmic. Right. Um I'm closer now on him. Um Black Cat, cause skill. Right? Yeah. We have lots skill. of skill now. Yeah. Uh, Green Goblin, and we have lots of tech, so I am dabbling in the thought of Auk. I know he's expensive, but we have a lot of tech. Um, yeah, a lot of the events they've done just have events. given a lot of tech. And then Old Man Logan as a fifth. Yeah, and I love that one. I would have done Rogue, but Old Man Logan just makes so much more sense. And because we have such a big Cabal and a big at a time team, I'm going to be pushing for the Seven Reds on Old Man Logan right away. Like, we're going to be doing Reset City to try and get as big an Old Man Logan as humanly possible. But that's it, guys. That was uh, a love tap on the global section and, honestly, a love tap on both nodes for the cause. We're just <laughs> running through it. So that if you have awesome. a team like that... <laughs> I, that honestly, though, that didn't seem that much harder. Like, the Eternals were definitely... No, the Eternals did a lot of work. But Vol and Kang as normal performed like nuts like nuts anyway guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it uh it'll probably be about a week at least before you see any more uh dark dimension footage because we're gonna wait for that old man logan to get unlocked some red stars on him build him up and then we'll be back at it hope you enjoyed these videos so far and uh look forward to this week some crazy videos including the cosmic uh cosmic the cosmic crucible content creator tournament bye for now that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.